do you want to export your game for android and there you find this issue that c drive blah 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 unreal engine that Gridle run Gridle dot bait that app assemble debugging problem. Okay, you are facing this. You set up SD can take JDK everything. So in this video, I'll show you how you can do like this. The packaging complete without any error. How you can export your game and how you can fix this run dot Gridle or app assemble debugging problem. Why this problem come? First, we need to understand that. So by reading with uh, by logs, you can understand that what is the basically error. So I get this image from Unreal Engine uh, online herb that why you find you know the people who don't know how to fix the issue so they submit it there that is basically the answer hub. So for this uh, image example there is an issue in build tool and also in the VR because it is exporting this game for VR occlusion. However, now let's learn that how you can fix. So first, my suggestion is do not install the NVIDIA code work. Okay, if you install the Android Studio 4.0, you will get everything. So first requirement is you need to make sure that you have Android Studio uh, that is 4.0 or you can also use the 3.5.3 that is the older version. But in for last season real engine version, you should use the Android Studio. Make sure that you install that in default location, like in a C diff, uh, C drive on your disk. Okay, so it will be don't give you any error. Then go to config and go to SDK manager. Once you go to SDK manager, make sure that you install the uh, SDK platform. So you can give for 30 and the 21 that is for lollipop version and the 10 okay so you will be get all the sdks once you do that you need to go to sdk tool and here you need to set here that show package detail so once you set up the package data here you find the android sdk build tool that is the main thing okay make sure you don't uh, install the updated that 30.00 rc because that SD, uh, sdk build tool have some error so just install the 28.0.3 and 29.0.2 even you can also install that 29.0.1 and 30.0.1 and 30.0.3 okay if you have this 4 or 3 build tool you will be uh, you will not get any error the second is basically the nvidia code work or uh, basically ndk so by the ndk so here you find here uh, basically there's an NDK version. I have to install it version, but you need only one that is 21.36352 uh, uh, Okay, this version uh, the 63. Make sure that is 21.1635. Okay, make sure you install that. Uh, I just downloaded this for some other cases. So you just need this thing. Once you do that, make sure you download the Android SDK command line all okay make sure you need to install for all command line that is 1.0 2.1 3.4.5.6.6 .6 .6 okay once you install that you need to download the cmake so that is uh 3.10.2498840 okay then just click on apply and okay once you install that you find that why it's go like why is basically your sdk path so in my case that if i, I install that in my default location so in your case you find the cd a uh, cdx user slash user and then you need to go to app data if you're not finding the app data you need to just click on the view and make sure that go to show more and here make sure you enable the hidden uh, items or folders is enabled so you find the app data and then go to local and here you find the android folder just open that and here you find the sdk folder that is basically your sdk then if you double click uh, and open that you find that there's an ndk folder available so instead of that you find your main ndk which one you need okay so that is basically you find here your sdk and then you find your ndk for jdk you need to download the java development tool and make sure that is uh, it have some specific version if you install any type of java it will be not work you need a specific version for unreal engine that is uh, java uh, java atu uh, atu301 okay you need to download this version that is atu301 
version now how you find you find this website so that is uh, from oracle that is a super big company okay so you need to just create an account because without creating account you can't download the uh, jdk so make sure you pray, uh, create an account and log in with your oracle account once you do that here you find that 8 by uh, 8311 that is the basically last version you don't need the last version because unreal engine requirements something else so just scroll down okay you need to just go a little bit down mm, yeah here you find here that 8u301 that is the main thing what you need so now you need to you can install for 86 bit even uh, 64 bit available also so you can install the installer don't need to download the active or, or you know the zip file just click on this and install in his default location just that once you install that in a default location why do you find that your jdk just double click c drive then user then uh, you need to go to program files and here you find a folder called java instead of that you find your jdk that is 1.8 by n that okay make sure you have this so then double uh, open that and go to bin and just once you do that just copy this uh, location that is c drive program plus java dot jdk whatever its version then bin then you need to go to your environment okay make sure you add or if i show you that you can write cmd and search here that the java then version just write uh sorry pir oh sure then enter if you press enter if it's showing like this that it's if it's showing that your java version or etc etc so it's mean that you completely set up your jdk so if there's a no issue so for setting this like this so you need to just copy this location like that and once you copy then you need to go to your environment variable so just search uh, env and environment va environment variable then go to environment variable that is in advance then go to java home or if you it's if, if it's not coming java home just click on new and just give it name that java make sure you write uh, in a big letter and the capital letter then just paste the location then click on ok then it will become like this then go to basically uh the path then once you go to path go to edit and here you need to just add your jdk location so as you can see i already add just click on new and just paste that press on ok and do the same thing for in system variables so do the same that java home then go to path and just do the same thing press ok press ok and once you do that you need to then install the visual studio 2019 make sure that you have this thing because without that you can't export the android export goodly it will be give you error so go to modify and make sure that you have 2019 not 2022 because 2022 have some glitch uh, it's not support uh, fully unreal engine so there's a, some compiler issue come to make sure which one i'm showing just install that one so then go to modify or the modification then just scroll down and here you find a folder called game development with c plus plus and here you find the name with unreal engine that directx and unreal engine so just scroll down here make sure that you click this one that unreal engine installer android id support for unreal engine and then you can download the unofficial uh windows platform development make sure you install that and make sure that same that and unreal engine then download your windows sdk and i'm in my case i'm using windows 11 so you can also uh, download the sdk for windows 10 uh, it's much neat then click on modify and install once you install give a restart of your computer once you do that then you need to go to basically your engine then go to engine then go to build uh, sorry then you need to go to x-ray then go to android and here you find some setup file so you need to just run that file once you run that file it will be become everything great some of cases it may be show you that dot repository dot tg uh, cfg file is not valid so you need to just create a simple in mode like that uh, a simple and then double click and then click on save uh, save as then go to c drive slash user slash user in here you find dot android folder so actually you need to just click it name in all files so here you already see that i already add dot repository dot cfg file so just write the same name you don't need to add any code or anything just write and click on save and dot cfg issue will be also gone so there's no issue and once you do that then go to your engine then go to project then project settings and then what you need to do just go to your uh, android sdk 
uh, here if you scroll down you find the android sdk and now you need to just pick the location as you can see how i did the c drive user slash user app data local dot android sdk that is basically sdk folder then i set my and uh, ndk folder make sure i selected the version folder like the ndk and then i select the jdk folder and i set the api level that is 21 then go to your android then config now make sure you accept sdk license if it's accepting it's mean that okay overall everything is great now give a export okay like you give a estc export and or even you can give multi xtc export so it will be work some of cases if it's not work still so there's a one more method available so you need to go to user slash user then go to app data local then go to android and sdk instead of that you find the build tool some of cases some build tool is very give issue so you can basically uninstall the build tool that is 30.0 and basically you can uninstall the 30 uh, build tool so it will be it will be basically you know fix the issue so if you have only a 29.01 or even 29.02 so there's a no issue will become also you can do one more thing that go to user slash user and go to grid file and here you can delete the grid file so it will be unreal you will automatically install again when you will be export the game so there's a no issue will become i'll show already show you all the methods that's how you can fix i already show you with proof that how you can export that game and if it is working for me also uh, if you're also facing the same issue in unreal engine 5 so let me know i'll also make for video and thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and also you can check my other website okay so thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in the next video